chat here so I can see what you own freaking video. It is not showing up, so I can't see your chats. There we go. And loading. There we go. Now I can see him. How's everybody doing? Thank you guys very much for coming out tonight. Tonight's going to be a little bit of a celebration of 15,000 subs. I'm not there yet. Probably will be tomorrow. Definitely will be the next day. So uh, very excited about that. And I'm going to give you guys a little tease of the giveaway, which is um, pretty amazing. It got ridiculous the last few days. <laughs> so uh, I reached out to a couple people, expected one of them to say yes. They both did. And then I had some other cool stuff coming I haven't told you about yet. So a little tease. It's not going to be everything, but um, that will probably be, this is not going to be, you're not going to be able to enter in this one. I will do the entry video probably like Tuesday. It looks like probably Tuesday night I'll do that. I'm getting everything, the last few things in tomorrow, it looks like, according to the tracking numbers. So if everything shows up tomorrow, then Tuesday will be the actual giveaway video. It's just going to be another AMA, you know, ask me anything. I'm going to do a little twist on the reveal of who won, though. It's going to be random stuff for who won. But uh, probably going to have either my wife or my daughter in do like interview style. I'll pick all the knife-related questions and let them pick all the non-knife-related questions, and just to just to be fun. But the actual winners are just going to be randoms. So, hey Southern Edge, how you going? You changed your name. It actually has your, your business name on it now. Awesome. Hello Mark. Hello Brian. Mikey. Sharpen blade. Brian Lucas. Um, let's quickly. Do well, let's wait till some more people got before we do the tease. Before we start all that, I am going to do another giveaway tonight just because I'm in a good mood. Because I'm finally at almost 15,000 subs. It's so funny that you get like, I was really, really ecstatic at how quickly I reached 12,500. And then after that, I was like, oh, come on, like trying to get to 15,000. I'm like, oh, come on, hurry up. But uh, actually, things have picked up pretty well now, so very happy about that. But, um, uh, I'm going to do a giveaway tonight just because I'm in a good mood. So this is this is an actual giveaway you can win tonight by the end of the show. It is a live one. So, and thank you, Bionic. I appreciate that. And hey, Zach, everybody, James, Taz, John. Um, the giveaway tonight, I've had a lot of you guys asking. I did that $50 to $100 giveaway. And, you know, yeah, there was some USA made stuff on it, but not much. And I had two or three comments, especially right now. I think people are conscious about it, you know what what's why didn't i have more under 100 for you know that are usa made and there are some so i'm gonna do another one of these little suggestion things so if you want to win this kershaw leak which is usa made under a hundred dollar knife if you want to win this kershaw leak it's the walmart exclusive version whatever but it is a more unique one it's the what 1660 ibw um, it's the one you can only get at Walmart. Um, if you want to win this, just suggest a really good knife around... Stupid thing. I'm getting a reconnect error. Are we back now? All right. Okay. I think we're back now. Sorry about that. So if you want to win this, all you got to do is just suggest a knife. USA made right around a hundred bucks or a little bit lower. And uh, if I like it, something good to review. So it's gotta be something fairly new, something I haven't reviewed before or whatever. And um, and we'll pick, we'll, I'm just gonna pick and whoever gives me the best suggestion by the end of the show will win this leak. And I am going to the post office tomorrow. So make sure you email me your address and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna try and switch off the Wi-Fi. This is always a bit of a thing because my phone goes sideways. So hold on, well, we should be back and off the Wi-Fi. All right, it's going to take a minute to, to read. I've already done the Pair 3 Lightweight a thousand times, so um, not that. Something I have not reviewed, something that would be a good M390 link, not really into the assisted. I know that's going to be the number one suggestion, but I'm just not into the assisted. I did the link before. Uh, dividend Composite Blade, done the Dividend a lot, too. It would just be a, another version of it. Um, Buck Marksman, I did that one. Uh... But, all right, we have enough people on here. We've got 83 of you on. We're six minutes in. So keep that in mind. Keep making suggestions. Um, if, if I don't mention it, I didn't see it. So uh, come back and at me again on that. So, um, all right, the giveaway thing got kind of out of hand. Hey, Stasa, how's it going? Um, 
so you guys know I already teased this if you watched the video. This is was going to be the grand prize. I don't know what the hell to call the grand prize now because the three knives, I'm going to tell you all three of the knives. There's going to be three packages. I don't know how I'm going to mix stuff up. Uh, so the three knives are this, my customized 0393. It is uh, uh, 393 GLCF, sorry, GLCF, um, with sharp by design scales. Um, I'm sorry, sharp by design, sharp dress scales. I was just playing with my void earlier and was talking to somebody about it. Sharp dress scales uh, on it. So that's going to be part of the grand prize thing. Some hinderer parts, my own edge on it. That was going to be the grand prize. But then I asked, um, oh, I didn't open the beer yet. I'm not doing well tonight, sorry. Uh, oh, and I just spilled it everywhere. That worked out well. Population Ale from Three Heads Brewing. Show the can, then open it, you jackwad. That's a good insult. We don't do enough. So <laughs> this knife that has beer on it is another one that's getting given away. Wow, this is very professionally done. I asked USMA Blade uh, what they wanted to kick in, if they wanted to kick in anything. And they said, uh, you have an R308, right? And I said, yep. And he said, that. So this is also going to be in the highlight of one of the prize packages. And then... The reason why one of these knives is out here, I asked TRM, uh, you guys want to kick anything in? And they said, how about another Atom? And I said, yes, please. So not this Atom. This one is mine. Uh, there's going to be another Atom for the giveaway. I'm not going to reveal what the scales are on it yet. I've seen the pictures. It's cooler than mine. I'm quite upset about it. But uh, yeah, so those are the three knives. A very highly customized ZT0393, an 0308, and an Atom. How do you pick which is first, second, and third prize in that? I don't know how you do that. So <laughs> it's uh, it's just going to be three prizes. I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I'll probably go by monetary value because there's also a couple other expensive things. Um, Southerners Knife Works is on here right now. Everybody say hi to chat. Awesome dude. Getting a whole bunch of swag and stuff from them. And I think a couple other little uh, little kind of knifey things. I'm not really sure exactly what's coming in that package that arrives tomorrow. I know he told me, but sometimes I don't pay attention to things. Um, so uh, I'm going to split all that up. I don't know how I'm going to split it up yet. Um, but Southerners Knife Works donated a whole bunch of cool stuff. Sharp Dress Knives. Not only donated these scales on this knife, but also... They're going to allow you to pick whatever you want, whoever wins, as long as it's a knife that he already makes scales for, they're yours. So it's kind of like a gift certificate to Sharp Dress Knives, which is pretty cool. And I'll talk to him about it, but if, if you don't have a knife that he makes scales for and you don't want to go buy the knife to make it look fancy, I don't think he'd have a problem if you just, you know, sold somebody the code or something like that. Um, I'll talk to him about it. But uh, yeah, it's, that's awesome. A um, couple things that are too big to show under this camera setup. Uh, Viper Sharp, an entire system with their Diamond Stones, a whole Viper Sharp system. Um, and uh, what's another big one? Um, NAFS, uh, Ben, you know, formerly of Blade HQ, uh, Ben Banters uh, sent me one of their new posters. I have it here, it's in a tube. Um, so that's going to be one of the prizes. So, and then there's a whole bunch of other little stuff that I haven't even shown you yet. A whole bunch of stickers and all that stuff. So, yeah. But these are the three knives. Not this Adam, but an Adam that's better than this one. And then these two ZTs. Coincidentally, all American-made knives. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. But this is not the giveaway video. Make that clear. That's going to be um, probably Tuesday night. That's what I'm aiming for. I think there's one thing that isn't going to be here yet, but... I have a worthy uh, substitute. I have one of my own, so I'll just show my own. Um, and again, you'll have uh, a week to respond, so um, that kind of stuff. Fair and Forge, Lackey Review. Not really a fixed blade guy, so I'm not, I don't feel really qualified to do fixed blade reviews. How do you enter? That's Tuesday. That's what I just was saying. You'll find that out Tuesday. It's going to be another Ask Me Anything one like I always do. Those are fun. Drop Perpetual, I've got one um, already. I already reviewed it, and then I already have one. But yeah. The game we're playing tonight throughout the rest of the show. I wanted to get that tease out of the way. 110 of you on here already. That's cool. Um, is to win this Kershaw leak, 
Walmart exclusive. I just think that's so funny, but it is. <laughs> it's just technically accurate. It costs the same as any other leak. It's the same build as any other leak. It's just this color combo you can only get at Walmart. It is kind of a cool looking color combo. To win this, give me a suggestion of a USA made knife right around a hundred bucks that is fairly new and I haven't reviewed and I'll go buy it and I'll do a review of it. I like doing these. It's fun. Uh, B. Swaim said the 110 Slim Pro in S30V. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I did the 112, but um, is this 14C20? Uh, yeah, it is. It's the same as any other. I think that's what they are. I don't remember. Is it 440? I don't remember. It's whatever a regular leak is. It's just the Walmart. Walmart version. Sperico Tenacious, not USA made. USA company, not USA made. It's got to be made in America. Yeah, and this is in response to a very justifiable thing. When I did my top 10 uh, budget knives, you know, you can buy right now series, there wasn't much American stuff in it. So, um, Buck Sprint Pro. That's not a bad shout, Chris Lower. I do kind of, I do kind of, um, like that a lot. I've almost bought one before. People keep saying the Drop Perpetua, I have one, and $100 is the sale price anyway, but I've already got one. You guys keep saying that. It's, oh, I've got one. See, now you see it. I have it. Um... Gerber Gator. I don't know what that one is. Bug Vantage Pro. Yeah, somebody already got that one. Chris, or oh, Buck Sprint Pro. Bug Vantage Pro. The Sprint Pro is the one I like better. I know that. So, Chris, you are in the, you are the leader right now. Spider Co. UK PK. They've done a, people have done a whole lot of those. Like I said, I'd like it to be some fairly, fairly new. EOS Prawn. Oh, that's not bad. To look and see what that is. I've done the dividend to death, John. I just don't want to do another dividend. Um, Benchmade Mini Grip done that to death. And I don't really like them. <laughs> That's, I'm one of the old, old few people that doesn't like that. Cold Steel Recon 1 Spear. I would love Lazaro to make an excuse to buy another Recon 1 because I really want another Recon 1. Um, but I have, I have, I've done that. So to my... I'm going to stick to my own rules and not use that as a uh, as an excuse. So, it was Chris Lauer, am I correct on there? I'm going to go back and make sure I get this right. Yeah, Chris Lauer, Buck Sprint Pro. That's that's a choice. Yeah, Mike, I just I did a Mini Freak. Or, oh, no, the Mini Freak is not out yet, so I can't do... Oh, the regular Mini Freak? No, I don't like the Freak. I don't like the rubberiness. It, I don't know, it's a texture thing. Sog Trident, I do not believe, is actually made here. I could be wrong, but I don't think that it is. Not a big fan of it anyway. So I'm just going to write this down. Buck. SP. I'll, I'll probably know what that means. Man, I have the worst handwriting in the world. Uh, CRKT Inara. I don't think that's made here. CRKT doesn't do much here. Let me look and see, but I don't think I don't think that's made here. I don't, it's not American companies, it's American made, is what people wanted to see, so. CRKT and NARA, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's going to say it's made in China. I'm typing in my computer machine. Yeah, let's see, Blade HQ is usually pretty good about saying what's made where, show all, yeah, that's definitely made in China, no, I thought so, definitely made in China. Um, Gerber Fastball did that. Uh, Manix XL did that. I don't know what an M3 tactical is. Your Jimbo 2 is only 151. Yeah, it's only 50% more expensive than what I said. People keep bugging about that. Cold Steel American Lawman. It's like the mascot of the show. I've done the American Lawman to death. American Lawman! Sorry, I said it wrong. Oh, yeah, Recon 1 is Taiwan. You're right. I, I forget about that all the time. EOS Prawn. Yeah, let me look that up. It's It sounds tiny from the name. I did do one other EOS knife I liked a lot. Oh, no, I do like the Prawn a lot. You're right. I do like that. That's a fric the friction folder one. Yeah, that's way more than 100 bucks though. There's one for 120 and it's on sale. No. Nice knife, but that's way more than 100 bucks. Um, What happens when a bunch of folks ask about the same knife? It's the first person that I see that saw it, that said it. Buck Ranger Pro S30V. I... I think I'm more with the, for bucks, I think I like the Sprint Pro better. Sog Terminus, not made here, and I already did it. Sage 5 Lightweight, made in Taiwan. Um, 
What do you think of the S35V and SE3? Again, I'm not into fixed blades. It's just not my jam. Yeah, Spider Co. McB. That's only a, three times as much as $100. Um, yeah, USA made under 100. People were asking about it, so um, uh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. Oh, that's a good shout, Kale. The Patriot. I meant to do meant to do that a bunch of times. It's not new though, but I'm gonna write you down anyway. Why am I using this crappy pen? I have an awesome pen. And I'm not doing it. I'm not using it. Are you guys seeing uh, fairly clear? It looks very pixelated on my screen, but that doesn't mean a thing. Here, yeah, I know. Pretty slim pickings for that. It's kind of my point because that's why I'm asking for you guys' help because somebody said that. There just aren't that many that aren't Kershaw assisted that I haven't already done. Use my awesome new Hinder Investigator pen with the Warthog on it. Very nice. Very nice little Christmas present I got. Very much appreciate that. Birthday present. Not Christmas. I'm not Christ. Caleb, what was it that you said? I got to go back again because I was switching pens. Good. Glad it's not pixelated. There it is here. I don't care. I just need to be able to see your, your words. Um, oh, Boker Patriot, yeah. Boker Patsy. Okay. Um, Spider Comic Bees. Oh, only 140 is still a lot, so. Yeah, Stretch is Japanese. Um, bare Knuckle and Mess. I've done the, I've done the, uh, um, the Bare Knuckle a whole lot. Tucson, it's made in America. Our Boker's German, German company, but the Patriot, I know, is made in America, is made in the U.S. Tops Tack Rays, sounds like a fixed blade. Yeah, all cold steels are made in Taiwan. Everybody thinks they're made in America. That's an amazing thing they've pulled off there. It very clearly says, like, right on the box, they're made in Taiwan, but man, everybody just thinks they're made in America. Spider Coast Siren, but no, 168. Perhaps... Perhaps me has one on the, those on the way already. I will say there is a double Spider Co unboxing tomorrow. So, so then as Knifework says, launch ten. Yeah, I don't like the ten. That the eleven is the one that I want. Um, proper. I've done that a lot. Grayson Cutler L USA May Caleb. Yeah, but it, I don't. I wouldn't even know which one to get. I'm just not in that traditional world. So. Rough Riders are not made in the United States. Um, I can't sell any of the ZTs that are on here at Taha because they're both for giveaway. Um, another Buck 110. Um, Kershaw Knockout, I've done it to death. Spider Co. Atlantic Salt. Is that the new bigger one? One of the bigger ones I like. That's all black. Uh, what knife on the far right? Oh, this is a brand new one. I'm going to let you guys keep making suggestions here. Because um, this is going to go on all show, so I'm just going to kind of glance at them every now and then. This is tomorrow morning's review at 8 a.m. It's already recorded and scheduled and all that stuff. Um, oh, they're Japanese too, you're right. Uh, anyway, this is uh, not American. <laughs> There's something American. This is a new Concept Cryo, um, or Cancept. It's Concept, though, is how you're supposed to say it. But it's spelled K-A-N-S-E-P-T. But like I said in the review, you're supposed to think Concept. Um, but a brand new company, one of the designers, Kim Ning, left uh, Kaiser, started his own jam, and uh, this is the first of these that is in full production and available in America, and uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Um, I do really like it. It's going to be, uh, yeah, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning is the full, the full review of this, so um, it's pretty impressive. This is a 3.6 inch blade and it's crammed into quite a small handle. They did a really good job on this. The detent is absolutely perfect, which was there's one fly head with Kaisers. It's been that. This I don't now. So um, yeah, you guys know that most CRKTs are not made in America, right? I think it's a lot of you guys are just shouting out American companies, but a lot of the stuff you're shouting out is not made in America. Um, yeah, CRKT is an American company, but they mostly mean it. He has a very, very, very tiny slight recurve, but nothing that's going to cause you a problem sharpening. Um, I actually like it. I am pretty impressed with it. And I normally hate recurves, but that's so little that it's really not going to be a problem. This is about 200 bucks. It's not too bad. S35VN, uh, full titanium, really nice orange peel finish on it. It comes in other finishes, but I love this orange peel. I think it just looks freaking great. 
and all these brass things. The only thing I don't understand is why is the pocket clip black? But other than that, I think it's a beautiful knife and I, I was very impressed with it. And I also have a cheaper version of this coming that the company is sending me directly. This one I just bought because I wanted to get the get a concept, concept sorry, I keep saying concept too, concept review out. Um, but uh, uh, I do have a cheaper version. It comes in this titanium one for 200 and then there's an N690 G10 liner lock version, exact same design coming that is uh, um, very... Uh, that is uh, going to be very inexpensive. I don't know what the price is. It's going to be well under 100 on the street, though. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm guessing probably 65 70 something like that. Um, yeah, Keith says, I gave up scrolling through Blade HQ. I can't find anything. I did that right before I came on here, too, and I wasn't really finding anything anyway. I was trying to predict some stuff. Case Rust Lock? It's not a bad one. Probably not, though. I don't really do those. I don't really do cases and stuff like that very much. It is just kind of out of my wheelhouse. I think right now is that Buck Sprint Pro. But is that even made in America? I think it is. Let me look. I want to look and see. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it is, but let me look. Because Buck has occasionally made stuff overseas, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong about that, too. But Oh, they're well over 100 bucks though. 125 for the hideous one. The one that I like is 150 well, that one's out, too. So far, we don't really have any any great ones. See, it's a harder question than I thought. You guys give me crap about that. Sogs are not made in America. Mini Presidio 2 CF Elite. See, that's good. Uh, Best Tech Beluga is definitely not made here. Um, Tops Mini Scandi Folder. God, Scott, that, that's kind of the best. That's kind of the best one so far. Spider Co. Atlantic Salt is made in uh, Taiwan or made in Japan. Um, yeah, blur, but I've done it. I don't really like the blur. I'm one of the only people who don't care. Oh, you said a hundred dollars, not a hundred ounces. This is very funny. Oh, Tops Mini Scandies made in Italy. See, everything's out. See, this is a much harder question than I thought. Buck Marksman, I already did it. Yeah, meant for smooth criminals, a lot more than a hundred bucks. It's only twice as much, I guess, but. August West, did you see the, the, get the envelope? Is that you? I didn't. I. Oh yeah, I did look at the note. I forgot to email you. I didn't know how to email you. Yes, I did get it. August sent me these awesome stickers. I'm giving one to my buddy because he's a huge Ric Flair fan. I'm a huge Wu Tang fan and kind of a Ric Flair fan. He's a huge Ric Flair fan and a kind of a Wu Tang clan. And this is just awesome. That is just one of the best stickers ever. As soon as I can drive my car again, I'm putting the Wu Tang sticker on it. I have to jump my battery. My car isn't there. Like my or my car's battery is dead. It's there. My car the battery's dead because I haven't been driving it. It's just been sitting there because we've been driving my wife's car. We've been locked in, but you know, woo. Yeah, it's a pretty cool sticker. You should probably put a link on to where you got them at. Uh, mini grip, I've done it. Uh, bare knuckle done to death. Yeah, it's pretty hard to beat. Amer made in America under a hundred. It's kind of the bare knuckle. Fastball done to death. Yeah, um, yeah, I'd probably do that, Taha, if I didn't already have one. Oh, is the Atlantic Salt U.S.? I thought it was, uh, I thought I'm sure that was Taiwan. I mean, sorry, uh, Japan. Let me look and see here. These are always kind of annoying to everybody else who just jumps in because I'm just searching for stuff. Oh, I don't like that, though. I don't like that one. That's the one with the full serrated thing. no. I don't, I don't like that. I don't care where it's made. I don't like full serrated blades. Not my thing. Bear up stiletto. I don't, is that, that sounds fixed blade. I, know, I saw some bear ops ones that were very crazily low priced and I'm kind of not, and I know that Blade HQ says country of origin USA, but I'm not sure that is 100% accurate. Maybe. Man, they're doing something if they're managing to produce those in the U.S. for that price, but I'll have a look-see. But I'm not 100% sure that is accurate. 
Nothing exists that will satisfy you. Not in this. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Zach. And by the way, yeah, the Super Chat's open down there. If you guys want to interrupt me looking here and have a specific question you want to ask, and that's the best way to get my attention. If anybody mentions the fastball again, I'm going to punch my desk or something. James Brand Folsom. Yeah, I have looked at those. Those are pretty nice. Are they around there? I thought they were a lot more than that. Let me see. Uh, we got 125. Still quite a bit more than that price range. Um, Cold Steel Broken Skull, not, um, yeah, not USA. Oh, that's it, Keith. You and I are going to have fisticuffs. Yeah, I thought James Brand is Chinese made. About an SE, don't do fixed blades. And there are a few folders they have are definitely overseas. Hogue X1 Microflip, I did that one. Uh, will there be a video or anything about the collection criticism? I'm going to try and get that done tomorrow, Jeremy, actually. Um, that is my goal for tomorrow. I pre-recorded tomorrow's morning interview so I could just wake up and start doing that. Um, if you guys didn't see, I'm not accepting more uh, submissions right now. As soon as it's over with, I'm actually going to post on the thing and saying I'm not. Uh, but a lot of you that, I, you guys sent me enough for me to do three of these videos. So I'm going to do them every now and then. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to criticize people's knife collections. I put it up in the community thing. If you don't check the community section of the site every now and then, or of the page every now and then, uh, make sure to do that. Uh, I got w so many submissions. So what I said is, guys, send me pictures of your collection, and I'm just going to criticize them. I may say nice things. I may roast you. I don't know. You know, who knows? Um, but I got some good ones. I got some bad ones. I think some people intentionally sent me bad ones so that I could roast them, which is fine. I appreciate that, too. Uh, so it's just going to be a fun, stupid little video tomorrow night. It's just going to be like slideshow style and me just looking at people's collections and either praising them or mocking them. Some of you just flexed, which is fine. Some of you just were like, here's all my stuff that's awesome and you can't buy. And uh, some guys sent a lot of stuff that I think intentionally they, they already know that I have so that I would agree with them. That's fine. Kissing up to the host is always a good idea. Some of you sent stuff that you know I hate. And just a myriad of stuff that I hate, so that's cool. Um, is it too late to enter? No, you still can. Doesn't have to be the full collection. Just take a sampling because I know some of you guys have giant collections, and I don't have I don't have time. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, CRKTs are not made in America. I feel like I should just keep posting that every five minutes. Um, Native five lightweight done that. Yeah, see, it's really hard to find anything recent. Uh, Buck Spitfire, I think that's assisted, so I wouldn't be nice about it. I'm going to switch some knives out while we're scratching our heads here. What do you want to pull out? We'll pull out this, and, well, where did I put? There it is. And there's another one I wanted to pull out very quickly. I'll put this Centauri away, because that was pretty recently on here. Cold Steels are not made in America. Uh, favorite stand-up jokes. Save something like that for my Ask Me Anything on Tuesday. And then we'll pull out. What am I going to put away to pull this out? I guess we'll pull put the kite fin away. Already done that. Yeah, is everybody saying that Baron Sun Bear Ops Stiletto? I have to verify those are actually made in the U.S. I, I kind of don't think they are. I think maybe Benchmade has that listed wrong. I could be wrong. Somebody go on their website and see where they say it was made. Thank you very much. Hunting for sharp things. Knives of Alaska Featherways, USMA folder, made in Alaska. Oh, let me check that one out. I'm going to cut and paste here. That sounds interesting. Well, I can't cut and paste it because it keeps scrolling too fast. Everybody shut up for a second. There we go. All right. Let's look that one up. Ooh, that looks very cool. Well, let me pull that sucker up here. Huh? That does look pretty cool. 
Sorry guys, I'm distracted for a moment. Only 100 bucks for the carbon fiber one made in the USA. What's the steel on it? D2? That's not bad. 90 bucks for 74.95. Yeah, that's not bad. That's a pretty cool one. I did not know this existed. Neoprene sheath sold separately. Oh, it does have a pocket clip though, right? I don't like stuff without pocket clips. It looks like it comes with a pocket clip. Yep. Yeah, with clip. We're going to... That's the leader so far, I think. That's actually horribly interesting, and I've never heard of it before. So, let me put... Let me write that down. Hunting for sharp things. Alaskan thing. There we go. Hunting for sharp Alaska is what I wrote in my note. It sounds like a note of a crazy person. Bradley Kimura, not into... Um, not into fixed blades. Sog Twitch 2, no. TRM overrated? Nope. Not a bit. Launch 9, I already did. Um, and I've kind of I kind of done a lot of autos. Kind of, It's going to be pretty auto-heavy coming up, so I still got a lot more to do. I went on a bit of an auto thing when, I'm, when I was stuck here in uh, the U.S. Launch 11, I'm going to be getting one of those already. That's already a, a done deal. Um... Libby, don't you love your TRM? I thought you had one. Yeah, so far, Alaska's the leader. That just looks like a unique thing I've never seen before. It'd just be a fun thing to have in the collection. Yeah, Hunter with the clip, 89 and 9. That, that looks, that look, that's the leader so far. I kind of like that. Oh, where do you send your knife picks? Uh, my email. There, it's down below, but it's uh, slicydicey75 at gmail.com. GIF. For dad, SR1 or 8010? 8010s. I like the 8010 a lot better than the SR1. Uh, what did I carry today? I have to look and see. I don't remember. I used it a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, Protec Newport. I was, uh, this cut up a lot of pepperoni. I made deep dish pizza in an iron skillet, and it was as delicious as it sounds. And I cut up a bunch. I, have, I always buy my pepperoni in the sticks. I don't like the pre sliced stuff. So I cut this all up with this just because it was in my pocket and it was sharp. Um, yeah, I like, I like the Newport a lot. It's a really nice knife. I've had one of those knives of Alaska featherweights and both had to be returned because of problems. Well, you always got to poo-poo on my parade, Stasa. Why you got to be like that? Still the leader right now. Still the most interesting thing that somebody suggested. It's Kaiser Shahalem and, uh, or CRKT Shahalem and, uh, Kaiser Begulator. Those are both pretty good. Very light and slicey. Love the Newport. The Newport is great. I'm really enjoying this, man. It's uh, it's very good. It's uh, it's pretty great. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And I got some very good news from a police officer the other day. See, there's pepperoni schmutz on it. Um, got some very good news from a police officer the other day, which uh, I'm not sure is correct advice until I talk to a lawyer or somebody. But um, I personally may be okay to carry these in New York. So not everybody is, but... um. Yeah, he explained what the law actually means word for word, and he said, I know that I would not give you a ticket. I would say that you're okay to carry one. So that will be awesome if I can get a uh, verification of that, basically because I have a knife review channel, and I can... No, it's not the fishing license thing. You have to actually be fishing. But he said, no, it's just that it's presumed to be a weapon. But if I can show that... I review knives for a living, then they would not presume it to be a weapon. Automatics are not technically illegal to carry. It's just that they are automatically presumed to be weapons. But I can show a non-presumption of it being a weapon because of what I do for a living. So we will see. Um, yeah, related to work loophole, exactly. But I said, do I need a permit for that or something? And he said, nope, just, you know, business card, show me your thing. And he goes, I wouldn't give you a ticket for one. I'd let you. And I was like, sweet as. So um, if I can get some verification of that. Yes, yeah, yeah, like that, Charles Chai. Yeah, in California, you can prove through disability you can carry an auto. I didn't know that New York had that little caveat. And it's not exactly worded out that way. But he said, if you can just, if you can prove, uh, it's from a cop. I haven't talked to a lawyer yet. That's what I say. I, I want to talk to a, a lawyer first, but. 
Yeah, I talked to a cop and he said, no, I would not, I would not give you, I would not give you a ticket for that. Because he said, you can, you can definitely prove that it's, you're not carrying it as a weapon. You can say you're carrying it for your work. So he said, it, and even if you did get a ticket, you'd probably get out of it once you got, once you got to court, that they would probably not do anything to you. Sounds, it sounds reasonable, but I don't know. Yeah, and Chris Lowry, exactly. None of the cops up here really care. I mean, in Rochester, they don't really care that much. It's And they all keep telling me that. I keep asking cops about it. This guy, I didn't ask. He's a New York State trooper, and he just emailed me because I was talking about autos and not being able to carry me. He goes, I think you, you're probably fine. It was unsolicited advice. He just said, no, I'm a New York State trooper, and I think you're probably fine. Suddenly, everyone in New York has a as a knife channel. I think if you had a knife review channel with three followers and you were being an ass, they'd probably still give you a ticket. But I think me with a lot of subs showing that, yes, this is my job, I think, I think I'd be all right. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's cool, Charles. So in California, you carry all kinds of stuff as long as you're in your work. So, yeah. WTS, uh, Knife review business cards. Yeah, but they're going to look you up. Yeah, exactly, Keith. That's, that's what he said. Look, He said, show me your... If you show me your YouTube channel, I, I'd let you go. But also, another thing to think of is if you're going to get arrested for having uh, an illegal knife, like most cops have said, the way they word it is, that's never a singular charge. It's almost like 90% of the time, it's an additional charge because you got pulled over for a DUI or you got in a bar fight and... It's just another charge to add on. You know, you don't get searched if you're not doing anything wrong. And, um, but I'm, I still am, I'm very good at it right now. I, I do not carry knives out, like illegal knives outside of my house. I do not because I worry about it. And I just, I don't. And me having this channel, that would be very, very bad if I got in trouble and they came and took all my knives away. <laughs> so, which they might, who knows? Uh, so I'm very, very careful about it, except for, except for when I forget. But, um, you know, you can get multi-tools. It's automatics and stuff. That's all that's illegal. Don't give them a reason to ask what's in your pocket. They probably won't notice. Yep. Uh, what is second knife from the left? Uh, this is a TRM Atom. One of which I'm giving away. So Sam Rob says, well, I can't even buy one in my state. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem in New York. It's not too hard to get around, but uh, that's a bit of a thing. What about over three inches in the city limits? I don't know about that. A uh, city is a whole different world. New York City is a completely different world. I do not live in New York City. I live in Rochester. So um, we have upstate New York laws are way more lenient. New York City is a whole different thing. David H., yeah, if you get a ticket for an illegal knife, you've probably done something seriously wrong. Or you were an asshole about something very minor. You know, like you got pulled over for a speeding ticket and you yelled at the cop and he decided to search your car. You know, that's... Technically, you can't own a th flamethrower. I can own whatever I want, knife-wise, in New York, uh, except for ballistic knives, which I'm not even 100% certain what a ballistic knife is. <laughs> so that's uh, that's, nothing, that's another issue. But, um, yeah, you can own them, but you just can't carry them out of the house unless you are um, uh, in the act of hunting, fishing, or trapping, Adam. That's exactly right. So I do have autos. I own them. It's perfectly legal for me to have them. Uh, but I just can't carry them. But now I'm being told because of my job, maybe I can. But Ballistic knife fires the blade out of the handle with a spring. Yeah, but what's the difference between that and an automatic? Because automatics, I'm, it's legal for me to own, but a ballistic, I can't even own. Yeah, I think it separates from the handle, right? Doesn't it, like, shoot a blade at someone? I would assume that's what that means. Where's the custom N390 I sent you? Oh, oh where is it? Oh my God, where is it? I was going to take it apart the other day for giggles. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know where I put it right now. I just rearranged my office. It's in a box. It doesn't suck. He sent me a very nice custom M390 knife. And it is beautiful. I think I showed it in one video. Um, I'll make sure I have it for the next one, man. Because it's it doesn't suck. I was really surprised. Drew Shaw says that TRM Adam is a looker. So um, have a have a look-see on Tuesday night when I announce my giveaway because we're giving one away, not this one. The one that I'm giving away is prettier than that one. Um, alcohol, a factor, and everything ticket-related. Yep, pretty much. 
Yeah, gravity knives are legal here now in New York. They they got tired of fiddling with the definitions. They just gave up. Oh, I meant Rochester work in the city limits, and apparently there's a three inch max for concealed folding. Yeah, Dark 007, That is so like murky. I've I know that it's on the books somewhere, but then when I ask cops, they're like, "We don't know anything about that." So I don't I don't know. I try and comply with it, but um, yeah, I don't. That's such a murky thing. And if you did get a ticket for it, it's a violating a violation of a city ordinance. It's a equivalent to a traffic ticket. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, the blade actually leaves the handle. Yeah. What's the knife on the far right? This is a Concept uh, Cryo. It is being reviewed in the morn. When are the videos on the Guardian Tactical uh, Protect Magic and Benchmade Meteor Mediator coming? I know you're curious because they're yours and I got to get them back to you. Um, I'm probably just going to use the Guardian for a battle to the death with the, the UTX. And um, that's probably going to be pretty shortly. I would say probably Wednesday. The magic, I'm unsure about if I'm going to do a review on it because you really enjoy your knives and I'm not sure it's camera ready. Uh, and the mediator, uh, as soon as I get a chance to take it apart and clean it up. So I, I hope to have them both up this week and get them back off your way. Um, didn't you review the, you didn't review the Painting X series? Phone for, yeah, I did. I had one from uh, Stasa. I had Stasa's and I, I did a little video on it. Um, do you actually live in Rochester or outside the city? It's very debatable, Chris. It depends on which which one of the maps you look at. Uh, some places, my address is Rochester, but everything else is Highland Park. But we, all the signs in front of my house say South Wedge, so I have no idea where I live, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, it's I'm right like on, in a disputed zone. I always say I live in the Gaza Strip between uh, uh, the South Wedge and Highland Park. How's the dye job on the mini bug out combo? It is done. I've showed it a bunch of times. Um, I'll pull it out here in a minute. It's done. It's red. Uh, case Kickstart Hunter. Eh. Doesn't really float my boat. Uh, no, Ross, I was just seriously curious. I got the limited edition 940 and S90V. Ooh, that's very nice. Green Tattoo are great knives. Nice. Own one. The only Eclipse sucks. I wish Southern Edge would carry them. Yeah, Gar yeah, Southern Edge. You're on here. Get on that. Get Guardian Tacticals. We all want them. Still paying a knife sale this week. Absolutely, definitely, yes, Eric Bowers, because one of my um one of my many jobs did not pay me. So um yeah, that's gonna happen. Um and it's pretty extensive. I'm having to let go of some stuff that I don't really want to let go. One of the things that's holding me up is actually I have two knives coming tomorrow, and I want to see if one of them is going to replace another one. And if it isn't, I have to figure out which one of the two I'm going to sell. So um, uh, how do you win a knife? Uh, this one is just for the thing. Um, not a great opening line, by the way. Uh, this is a Kershaw leak. Suggest me a good knife to review. American-made, under $100. They haven't reviewed before. So far right now is uh, the Alaska thing. Um, and that's about the best suggestion I got. This is a much harder one than I thought. I thought it'd be hard, but I didn't think it'd be that hard. But um, is the Delica with the wood scales thicker in the handle than the OG? I don't think it is. I think it eh, might be. I can't really tell. I don't have a regular one here to compare it to. I could look it up, but I didn't. Um, didn't you want me to take care of that for you? I don't know what that is. Um, oh, the collection picks. Yeah, they're going to be, I didn't, I'm going to something with them, uh, probably tomorrow. That is the plan for tomorrow. But I also have to apply for unemployment. So it depends on if I can get through to the unemployment office, which is almost completely impossible. Um, Buck 84 one BRS Sprint Pro. I'm going to Google that because I'm not seeing, I'm not finding it for that when I looked it up. All of them were well over. Well, what the? It cut and pasted your whole freaking message. And sale prices don't count, by the way. That would just be silly to do that. 
Oh, here's one. That's S30V. Oh, that one's not bad. Yeah, Chris, you might have talked your way back into it because Nick was... Yeah, I could give that one a shot. All right, Chris, you talked your way back into it by finding the exact price. Ever do a Kershaw launch for No. Uh, wouldn't you guys have an online application for unemployment? Yes, we do. It doesn't work. So, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Taz, we do. But uh, I can't even get on the freaking online. So and you have to get on the online first, and then nine times out of ten, they tell you, we'll call you in 72 hours, and they don't. They call you, like, three weeks later. So, whatever. It wasn't a big issue until one of my jobs decided not to pay me on Friday. So now I got to argue with my job tomorrow and argue with freaking unemployment. It's nice that they're giving us unemployment because I'm self-employed. I have been for the last 15 years of my life. I never had to get unemployment for it because I never could. It's nice that I'm getting it, but for God's sake, guys, uh, get, fix your system. Yeah, the EOS Prana, it's a, it's a flipper thing now. So um, No, it's Zach. It's a, oh, who didn't pay me? I'm not talking about that. I don't want to throw my employer under the bus. It was a clerical error, but it's the second time that it's happened. So it's getting pretty annoying. It definitely is not that I'm not, they did, didn't decide to not pay me. Um, they just, computer didn't, didn't do it. Yeah, hit the like button and all that stuff. 154, oh, hey, 170 is a record. Maybe we'll get there. Probably not, though. Did get my relief check. Went right out the door. I think that stayed in the, that stayed in the, um, uh, account for about 15 minutes. <laughs> Paid the rent and a bunch of other bills. A lot of bills I didn't have to pay, but um, they I, I don't want to, when this is all over with, be way, way, way behind on stuff. So like my phone bill, I didn't have to pay. They said they wouldn't turn it off, you know, and like car payment, they said I didn't have to pay until for like two months and all this stuff. But I just didn't want to have this all over with and then be four thousand dollars in debt so we paid off a bunch of stuff um we're not paid up on everything but paid to a reasonable level of behind <laughs> so um but yeah i know you yeah, unemployment using cobalt 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 programming bobby yeah i think it's like i'm running on windows 3.1 like it's it's insane there's a funny little gif going around uh to new york because it's everyone it's not just me the entire new york state like you, you nobody can get unemployment right now it's ridiculous and everybody's passed around this little gif and it's like a picture the top half is a picture of all these these huge like this giant server room and it says pornhub server and then there's a picture of a laptop sitting on a folding metal chair in the middle of a giant room and it says new york state unemployment office server how close are you to Staten Island? Very, very, very far away. I'm like almost six hours from Staten Island. New York's a big state. Uh, Southern Edge Knife Works, South Carolina way of life. Oh, well, you know, our taxes are higher up here, but nine times out of ten stuff does work in New York. I mean, I remember living in North Carolina and like it took you guys like nine months to fix a road that we'd have done in three weeks. Like a lot of stuff in New York does work really well. A lot of stuff I do, I don't mind paying the taxes because it does work better than any other state that I've lived in. But this one does not. Can we just make this city its own entity? We'd go broke, man. People say that all the time, but if you look at the finances, yeah, up, upstate New York cannot support itself. How far are you from Evoca or Evoca? I can't remember which it is. About an hour and a half, and my. Uh, ex-wife lives there. My, that's where my kids used to live. They just moved up with me, but yeah, they used to live there. Avoca is very, very close. Well, relatively. Hour and ten minutes. 110 on Knife Center. Which one was that, Libby? I missed All Red Flipper. Let me look that one up. That sounds familiar, and it sounds like something I was interested in. You have so many like knife related windows open and you're like, oh no, I can't I can't use that one because I may need that later. V knives. I don't think that's made in America. I didn't think any of his stuff was made in America. But 
know anyway for other reasons I'm not going to get into right now. Um, Kershaw knockout done to death. Gerber, you're not really into Gerber's yet. What are your impressions of the one on the very right? You can find out tomorrow morning, eight o'clock. Alex's knife box. Uh, yeah, eight a.m. This is going up, but I really do like it. It's uh, it's pretty nice. They did a really good. And hello, Alex. He was one of my co-hosts yesterday, or I guess we were both co-hosts yesterday. Um, that was a long time, uh, but a lot of fun. Uh, but. If you guys didn't see that little town hall thing that Knife Junkie did, it was a lot of fun. But great packaging, man. They got a whole lot of blade and a pretty small handle. Really like it. Yeah, that's what I thought. It says USA made, but it's actually China. It's right next to Buck Momentum. Yeah, I just don't really like that one. How are you liking the artist in Centauri? I love it. I love it. Uh, your waypoint breaking in. Unfortunately, I've not been able to carry it much this week, but it, it feels pretty good as it is. But, um... I haven't been able to carry much this week. Y'all did an awesome job on the Night Junkie podcast. Thank you, Justin. It was a lot of fun. I, I had to jump out early, and I felt bad um, because uh, my wife had to get on to a uh, teleconference at 4, and I thought we were going to end at 4, but it went on to like 5.30, I think. But um, my computer sucks up all the bandwidth. I didn't realize that my Wi-Fi gives priority to my computer. So it was sucking up all the bandwidth and because um, I use a different computer for that than I normally use and it's like an older one and I forgot that I had it set to give that computer priority. So that sucked. Um, so I had to get off at four so that she could do her teleconference because it just wouldn't work. But um, uh, I did, I have the notification set for the Shikra from White Mountain. So whenever they get it in, I will definitely be, uh, I'll definitely be doing that. Yeah, Justin, you did watch a lot. I saw your comments pop up here and there. I also had a window open looking at the comments, even the ones that didn't make it to the screen. There were several moments while I was watching you look seriously bored or about to fall asleep. That's just my natural state, Jeremy. <laughs> I was having fun. That's just my natural state. There were a couple of things I didn't know what anybody was talking about. When the knife fighting guys and stuff were on, I was like, I didn't know what to talk about. And then I looked bored during Bob Terzula because he couldn't hear me. So I just kind of shut up. Because he couldn't hear me, so if I talked, it was just going to screw up the flow of everything. So I just was trying to be quiet, and I, I told Jim to like just put me in the, put me in the green room so nobody could see me. But I was still on there, so they kept cutting to me, and then I'm just sitting there staring at the screen because I know that Bob can't hear me. And it was very interesting. I was really loving what he said. And there was so many things that I wanted to say, but I knew Bob couldn't hear me, so I just kind of sat there quietly, and it was kind of awkward. <laughs> but uh. Uh, when are you getting a Boker Mermaid? Um, never. I got a Gen 6 XM18 Spanto 3.5, and, and I don't like it, Chris Lauer says. Well, you know, no one's right all the time. Actually, I will say the Spanto is my least favorite blade shape for that, but, um, yeah. Um, but I love XM18s. They're very nice. I have two. I have one right here because it was... And that matches my pen and my fancy one on the Warhog. And now it matches my pen that I put down there. There it is. I was using this to write stuff down. I got the double Warhog, and I can go triple Warhog, too. It's not within reach, but I have a Swiss Army knife with a Warhog on it, too. Just got here, had to order a Super Freak. That is my excuse. That is a good excuse, Jeff Smith. That is a very good excuse. I think in the knife world, that is a law we should make that... I was buying a knife is an excuse to be late on anything. Damon 053 says, so common elite in the collection? No, but I am constantly looking for one, man. I'm, I'm trying to find the perfect one. I, don't, I just want a plain black one with a stonewashed blade. I don't care if it's the Tanto or whatever, but man, they're hard to find. They're definitely very hard to find. Chris Lauer just sold one, sold my Slim Mini and regret it. Well, you could, they still make those. You can get those back fairly easy. Um, Zach, thanks for the push to get the Super Freak. Yeah, Zach is a Benchmade pusher. He's made me buy a lot, too. Oh, speaking of, Zach, I, I have one I should probably pay you for, right? I totally have one of his knives I said I was going to buy, and he never told me how much it was. And then I never asked, and I just realized I've had your knife for like two months, and I've never paid you for it. Um, my local shop, maybe a SOCOM like that, I'll check it out. Yeah, if I can swing it. 
waiting for a Sabenza 31 Tanto. That will be my next Sabenza. When they come up the Tanto, I will do that. I just realized that I, I put that video up this morning. I actually recorded it a few days ago, but I put that video about big bruiser knife things, and I was watching it back again, and I saw that knife, and I was like, I don't think I ever paid for that. This is how it is with knife YouTube reviewers and just knife fans. Like, I have, like... I have, like, best way my buddy Mike in New York who doesn't have a channel or anything, but, like, we agree, like, okay, you can have that one and we'll figure it out at some point. And, like, I have other, sometimes I have to email people and say, I know I got this knife from you. Is this mine or am I sending it back? You just get confused. But shoot me an Instagram message. Let me know what I owe you for that because I am definitely going to keep it. I do like this. I, I do like, it's it's the, uh, the big, uh, CF Elite Presidio, and I like it a whole lot. I don't want to give that one up. I am giving away up a, uh, giving away, a, not giving away. I'm giving up a Benchmade on my next sale, though. I did decide to get rid of one. So I have to, I have to make sure that I have at least one row on the Spidey Pack that's all Benchmade, so. Um, $2 over what? Ash Cannon, what is? Oh, you know, people suggest the mini grip. I don't like the mini grip, and that's, and I already did it. So I did a full size of the same one, and it's just, and I don't like the mini grip. It doesn't fit my hands right. Um, knife Works Grizzly Ridge. I have looked very seriously at that, me with knives, though, just for me. But selling the 940 one, no, not that one. Not that one. Not that exciting. Mini CF Elite Presidio, they're not available yet. I said around 100. That would be close enough, but. Mantis MT7. I don't know what that is. I'm going to uh, I'm going to look at that. Surprisingly, I know this will shock you guys, maybe disappoint you. I don't know every single knife in existence. I know more than I should. I have never seen this before. Made in USA with foreign domestic parts. That means not actually made in the USA. Yeah. Don't really like that one. How dare you not know everything I know? That's like, I did that funny video with my wife, which, by the way, thank you guys so much for watching that. My wife loved it. Um, uh, and my wife loved doing it. She loved all the good responses she got and stuff. And, um, uh, one of my, she shared it on her personal Facebook page, and one of my friends said, how does that video have a down like? And I said, this may surprise you, but I am not universally loved. Sometimes, I know there's four or five guys, not four or five, there's two or three guys at least that always downvote every single video I do, no matter what. Spiderco UK PK pen knife, and now it's been done to death. Just order the mini Presidio 2 CF Elite Mini Group. Whenever I get one. I did the full size one, so I'm not in a giant rush to get it. Have you reviewed an AP Primordial? I have not, but they look very, very nice. Are you stuttering or are you cutting and pasting comments? Lynch the down voters. No, they're fine. I don't care. You know what's funny with down voters, by the way, guys? Doesn't hurt me. As long as it's not like under like ninety percent upvotes, it it's still an interaction. It's it helps. So I, I think it's very funny that people. Are, I'm going to click downvote. Thank you. Reacting to it's all that they want to see. You haven't reviewed the primordial Mark One yet? Even, no, I have not. Unless I did and forgot it, which is. I'm surprised I got a thumbs down on the giveaway. Oh, you always get thumbs down on giveaway videos, man. What are you kidding, Zach? Like, that's the, that is the number one thing you can do on the internet to make people mad is give them something for free. That is the absolute God's honest truth. Like, both here and in on my old, or my, my, not my old site, it's still a current site that I have. On my other site, oh yeah, you give something away for free and people get really pissed off that they didn't get it or that you gave it away unfairly or... It took you three days to ship this giant package that I paid nothing for. It's like, oh, that's the number one thing you can do to make people mad is give them something for free. It's just the, it's just the truth.
yeah, any action helps out. So, yeah, only one winner. I'm at mad and uh, oh, this one's only for Patreon people. It's unfair. It's just all kinds of stuff like that. Any MJ fans watching The Last Dance? I don't know what that is. Yeah. So I'm giving away some for free. And is it fair? No, it's not. I'm not the I'm not the freaking lottery. <laughs> I'm not I'm not governed. I still have a Fox Zero. I don't. I never actually or did I own yeah, I did own the aluminum one. The carbon one I didn't. That was a loaner. No, I didn't keep that very long. Well, those atom scales, they are very nice. But the one I'm giving away, it's the tease you're going to see on uh, on Tuesday. Um, it's it's better. I will admit it's cooler than mine. I'm very jealous. I didn't know they even did it, um, that they did scales. I don't think they have sold scales like that before. I think maybe it's just a set they had around, but they are freaking awesome. Thoughts on Giant Mouse? Love them. I have uh, two now. I sold one of them. I sold my Clyde, but I still have the Iona Aluminum. And uh, Ace Biblio, which I love the Ace Biblio. The Ace Biblio is right here, actually. Because I am going to do another top 10 video this week. I'm doing uh, top 10 three-inch knives, and the Biblio is definitely on that list. Not into wooden scales. For me. These aren't technically... I mean, they're wood. There's wood in them, but it's... It's not tech wood. It's, like, compressed... Compressed sawdust, basically... Is it titanium? I don't know which one. The Biblio? No, mine's just the G10 one. Have you done the Protex Sprint? I have not. Uh, I have a Calmigo, but I, I didn't do the Sprint. 342 Vantage Pro, small knife. I'm going to Google that. This is somebody trying to get in. So far, it's Caleb back again with that, that buck. That is uh, leading the way. Oh, come on. I keep trying to cut and paste, and then it doesn't. There we go. Oh, the Vantage Small Pro. Yeah, I don't... I, I have not reviewed the Vantage, but I know I had... Oh, I had one in that Give a Knife, Take a Knife pass around. I didn't... I didn't like it very much. I knew I'd had one. We reviewed the Artisan Wren. I don't I don't believe so. I don't believe I did. Justin Small says, I want to tear him at him so bad. Well, then enter my contest Tuesday night. It's going to be super easy. But, yeah, with these three knives, how do you decide first, second, third place? I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go in order by monetary. But I also have some expensive stuff to add into it. So, like, the Viper... The entire Viper Sharp system is, like, over $200. So... I'm probably going to attach that to this one, and that's going to be the big the big prize. Is going to be like six or seven hundred bucks. But like, this is so cool that you're like, I don't know, this is really cool. And then some people really like the O three O eight, so it's just going to be chosen. Whatever, everything comes out random, so it doesn't freaking matter. But I know that's my complaint. I'm going to get is somebody's going to be like, uh, I want the, uh, I got first, I should be able to choose, like, like I said, you want to make people mad, give them something for free. See you later, Ocon. You know, Mikey May 8, I wish there were more people in the world like you that said anything free is appreciated. Uh, you might have liked the Cabela's version of the Vantage Pro wooden scales. I might have, I didn't like the action and stuff on it, there was something. Um... It's one of my Medfords for you to review. Travis says, eh, shoot me email, we'll see. But I'm really backed up right now. I'm kind of not that into Medfords. Except the Slim Midi. I like that. Yeah, I will not be able to get it shipped here, though, Scott. Um, if I win one, I'll drive from Canandaigua with mask and gloves. I hate waiting. You <laughs> know, I'll... I'd leave it out. I'd leave it out under my car for you or something. Um, it's like, so if so, I win the package with the Viper Sharp. You will have to give that system away as a fourth place prize. Jeremy says, "Yeah, you sixty nine likes. Yeah, nobody else like it." Um, yes, exactly, Taz. You would think so, but that's not the way the world works. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Sure, maybe I, maybe I have to see, I have to gather up everything tomorrow. Maybe there will be more than one, maybe there will be more than three prize packages. So how do I end the giveaway? Like I said, Tuesday night, I will do a video talking about that. I'm just teasing it tonight. That's what a tease is. That I don't tell you everything.
it's going to be another Ask Me Anything, but I'm going to do something unique with it a little bit. But it's still going to be a general, a random comment generator, all that kind of stuff. Ashkan says, honestly, I've never won anything, so I don't really think I'd mind, but sometimes you got to be grumpy. Yeah. Can you review the Microtech LEDT? If I ever get one, I will. Miko, I would like to try that one out. I'd like to try a, because I'm into Protex for the out the side, and I've never tried a Microtech out the side, so. Spirico Pingo, a lot of people have done that one. Um, I already, I did the 112, not that fancy of a Ranger, but I did the 112 Ranger already. Um, yeah, the LUDT does look pretty cool. And they're not horribly expensive either, are they? They're not too bad. Another brand, Southerners Night Fork, get on that. Um, do you like the CF Dapper better than the Micarta Dapper? The the Micarta one was not mine. I only had it for literally a, like 12 hours and it went back in the mail. But I do like the carbon one a lot. I will say mine locks up better. I know that some people had some problems with some with the green Micarta. Some people had some that weren't locking up at all. And uh, the one I sent off to 7Ready didn't lock up as as much as this one does. But um, the only thing I don't like about the dapper and more use is uh, I don't like the blade grind. It's even in everything, but it's just, you can see like, starts off thin here and gets really tall here because just this, the higher part of the grind is just, it's fatter near the tip and that's slightly annoying, but it still cuts really well and it looks great and everything. I don't know if it's going to be a keeper or not, but I do like it. Kershaw Bare Knuckle, done that to death. Your Protec TR5. No, I've only reviewed the SBR and the Calmigo and will soon be doing the Newport because I have those. Um, and maybe a Magic. Uh, yeah, my, the Southern Edge is adding new stuff all the time, so they are still pretty new, so... Um, I'm not really taking loaners right now. So, um, yeah, because I've just got... You guys sent me a bunch, and it was really cool, and I want to get these ones back to people, and I have some stuff that I bought on the way, so... Jeff says, I'll buy the dapper if you want. A lot of people would. Uh, I'm not sure if it's... It's not going to be on this next knife sale, because I've, uh, I won't have time to get the review done before then, but um, if I'm even going to do a full review, I may not, because you can't buy them right now, so... By the way, what's not camera about the magic? You used it! It's all scratched up, Jeremy! <laughs> <laughs> it just looks well loved. I do like it though. It's very nice. It's right here. Where did I, I just playing with it earlier? I do like it. It's well loved, man. You got you scratched it up pretty good. It's got a dent in it. You you used it like a like a man man. Thank you very much, DTO. Oh yeah, by the way, the super chat is up. We're gonna wrap up pretty quick here. I don't think we hit our record. I think the most I saw was like 158, something like that. Um, you're very welcome, DTOM. So I appreciate that. Um, Kershaw leak. I've done the. I've done the leak. I don't really. It's just another version of it. Tactical pen. You recommend? Well, I'm really loving. It's not. It's not inexpensive, but uh, this Hinder Instigator is really really cool. I saw you say that on somebody else's thing for you. I mean, how the hell are you getting a GT350 for the price of an 03 G35? Is it like a salvage title or something? I would think you're putting a whole lot of cash in with that. Yes, I would much rather have a GT350 than a G35. Um, that magic has been through close to a ton of cardboard. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks great though still. It looks very well broken in. It's just not good for not good for the pretty videos. That's why I review my knives first and beat them up later. Um, anybody looking for a new in-box smock? One, it, try not to sell stuff on here. It, it doesn't make me too mad, but it's, it's not nice. Uh, remind me where you got the skills, scales for the 0393. It is a Sharp Dress Knives. SharpDressKnives.com Very welcome, DWF. Dividend, I've done so many dividend videos. Yeah, a lot of people like it's great for looking at the, you know, for just looking at it. I like the look of it too, but for reviews, it's not always awesome. Um, uh, what was, uh, so right now it's Caleb with the uh, buck that I, my own handwriting, I still kept the window open, I think. I gotta go back to it. I didn't. Yeah. 
the Buck Sprint Pro. You still on here, Caleb? You're the you're leading right now. I've done the marksman a bunch. I didn't, see, this is a much harder question than you think because all you guys are just repeating the same ones over and over again. It's USA, yeah, Chris Lauer, okay. Is it Lauer, Lower? I don't know. Lower, probably. You'd probably rather be called Lower than Lauer right now. Um, maybe that ZT slip joint. I think that's a lot more than 100 bucks, isn't it? That's not a bad shout. Can I buy your dapper? Not yet. Not yet. I don't know. I still am undecided. I still have to do the... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe it will be the next knife sale. I don't know. If you guys want early access to the knife sales, all you got to do is join the Patreon at any single level. You get 24 hours early, 24 hours early notice. So, I know, Jeremy. I know. But also, I kind of just want to get one of my own and review a, a new example of it. We're not bidding on the dapper. Oh, they're all sold out, man. If I sell this, it's going for every penny I paid for it. <laughs> I can tell you that. Uh, you're planning on picking up a Spider Coast Siren when it comes out. Uh, Joseph, I perhaps may be checking my mailbox tomorrow for one of those. There is going to be a double Spider Co unboxing tomorrow, so it's the Obviously, the siren already gave it away. The siren and something else. Two new spider codes. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about the siren. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Um, have you seen the spider code bounce shell? I've seen it, but I don't have it. There's a 126.50. <laughs> Chad, you know I just trade you for it. Did you review the weird exchange blade from Coles. You know, I'm curious about that, Ashcan. The, uh, what is it called? The something clip or whatever? It's a fixed blade, but you can change the blade? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. How do you like the dapper? It's all right. Not a huge fan of the grind on it, but it's a cute little thing. I'm just not positive what I'm going to, yeah, to clip it. Yeah, I'm just not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. So I do like it a lot. I think it's pretty cool. But I thought for sure they are going to be coming out with another batch from right away. And now it sounds like they're, they might not be. So, I don't know. And you know me and knives that nobody can buy. They're kind of pointless for me to have around for the channel. So, see, Keith's making a more reasonable bid of 170 But we're not bidding on it. I have to be fair to everybody. I have to give the patrons the, a, 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 a 24-hour notice. So, I am true to my word. Do a sharpening video on the dapper. It's, it's not even something I think you could really easily fix with a sharpening. It's not, it's not that their sharpening job was bad. It's just that the blade is thin up here and thicker up here. I don't think it's a mistake. It's just what they chose to do. So um, the grind's consistent, you know, or the, the sharpening job is consistent. The bevel's consistent. It's just, it's just really fat towards the tip. So <laughs> Eric says 195. I'm not, I'm going to stick to my rules, guys. Join Patreon and you'll get notified probably like Tuesday. I'm probably going to put out a list. And, Jer and uh, Jeremy Russell was on here, sent me some cool stuff too. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do that and then do a sale like Wednesday or something like that. One million dollars. Uh, will there be any knives for sale? No, I don't do uh, not life, live knife sales too terribly often. If I do, it says like auction in the title or something. That's how I always do it. Eric, you're gonna have to follow the rules, man. I know I'm cutting myself off. I'd gladly, I'd gladly sell this thing for two ten, but I follow my own rules. Regrind video. I don't even have the equipment to come close to doing that, man. I think I could probably, uh, I could probably pull it off. <laughs> Jeff says two fifteen and a nude pick. How about you keep both of those things all to yourself? You keep them right in your little pocket. Man, a lot of you guys still on here. 146. We never got never got the 170 record, but it's, it's we have some staying power. Uh, I totally do a live auction. I'm not doing one right now. Maybe I don't know. 
maybe that's what I'll do with that is play this for another week and let me decide do a live auction next week or it may just be in the sale who knows I'm just gonna sell it put it on the, if I put it on the sale it'll just be for whatever it was at 179 I paid for it that's probably what I would do but I don't hate it I don't know I need to carry it more because I don't dislike it I may wind up wanting to keep it lately I talk myself into uh keeping things more often than I talk about getting rid of things so I know that at least one of the two of the spider codes I have coming tomorrow are probably going to get sold um but uh I don't no, maybe I'll fall in love with them. Who knows? If they get kept, another Spider Co. is going to go. So the one I have not named yet is close in size to another one that I have in love. So we'll see. Uh, D2M says, ZT0308 or 8010, 8010. It's much cheaper and doesn't have a hole in it. Um, $100 for the Adam. Sh shut up. What am I drinking? It is Population Ale from Three Hits Brewing, from my favorite company, which I still need to get off my arse and send <laughs> send them an email because one of the owners is one of my best friends and he would totally sponsor the show and I get free beer all the time and I keep forgetting to and keep buying it like an idiot. Are the TRM scales my Carter or wood? They're uh, tech wood, so it's like a pressed wood thing, which Marianne corrected me on the Knife Junkie uh, thing on Saturday that they that's their name for it, that they they make it. So uh, I did not know that. I thought it was another company called Tech Wood or something, but it isn't. It's They make them. So it's like a compressed, uh, like basically really finely ground sawdust, compressed and stuff, and then milled. It's pretty nice. St. Nick's PM2 drop. Oh, they're doing another 4V black and red. Mm. Hey, Jay. So I think I'm kind of running out of steam here. I'm probably going to lock this up. I'm getting itchy. My wife cut my hair today. She didn't do... Yes, yeah, basically Mercari de Maria Wood. Very good explanation, Justin, actually. It's very, very good. Yeah, my wife cut my hair today. She didn't do a terrible job, uh, but um, I had her cut it shorter than normal because God knows whenever I'm going to be able to get my hair cut again because I'm in New York and we're looking at at least at least middle of May before I can get a haircut again, probably more like June. So I um, had her cut it and I, I'm all itchy now. I have that post haircut itchiness. Show us your hair. I really can't. I just put my head under the thing and it wouldn't make, it doesn't work, but um. There'll be a face reveal video at some point, uh, probably when I do the giveaway thing. I like to do those face reveal style because uh, especially that Viper, that case with the Viper sharp in it is pretty big. Did I miss the Arson Centauri? Yes, I had it out at the beginning. So, um, yes, exclusives, thumb down. Well, exclusives are thumb neutral. It's sprints that I really hate. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for sticking around so long. We're still over 130. That's awesome. But uh, really do appreciate everything uh, that you guys have done. And thank you so much for helping me reach 15,000. I'm going to give a much bigger thanks on Tuesday when I do the giveaway video. But uh, yeah, this is awesome. Very, very happy that we're already at, at 15,000 after, what, two and a half years. That's pretty freaking great. So on to 20, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much. I've been Brian. Have a good one.